Well then welcome back. As you can see it's all frozen now so it's beginning of December here and there's a little bit of snow. It's not really settled much but it's minus temperatures so everything's frozen. But yeah, thought I'd decide to work on this hazel shank. It's uh, not been cut to size so it's well over, it's about six foot plus. Thumb stick, hazel. So yeah, it has been straightened slightly got the worst bends out of it but it'll need to be straightened again so first thing I'm going to do is just uh, file off some of these thorns and that sand it down a bit so it's a bit more smoother so I've got a big one there I'll need to sort out and yeah I might widen widen that as well or as best I can when I heat it up well, yeah it'll be a good, good old thumb stick this literally the easiest beginner start stick to do very little work and uh, you can put more work in if you want to but to get the basic thumb stick nothing and i dropped it yeah here we are i've done nothing to thumb stick handle here but all i've done is uh especially that first one big knot there so i've smoothed it all out so you're not gonna get yourself caught in any thorns or whatever. The slight dog end there. Little dog tail there, look. And yeah, it's yeah, it adds a bit of character. But yeah, I've cut it down as well, so all I'm gonna do now is uh heat up this thumb bit joint and just widen this as much as I can without damaging it. And then uh yeah, wait for it to dry, see how see how well the impact it's done might do it again if not i'll slowly file a comfortable area for your thumb to sit so yeah give it a bit of a straighten and the varnish and i've cut the lamp filed them all down under the moss so it's easy for hand to go down no obstacles Nice and gentle yet, so what I did is stretch them out as wide as I could. I didn't want to see if it'll zoom focus. I didn't want it to crack down this middle, so I'm slowly going to file it so your thumb can fit in. And as you can tell, it's just started snowing in it, so crack them before I get too cold. So yeah, here we are. Filed it down, made a uh, round the edges off. At first, I thought I cut them too short for personal preference, but they're all right. And then uh, I just used a file, filed the basic shape I wanted. And then yeah, different grades of sandpaper to get it a nice comfortable slot for your thumb to fit in. But yeah, nice easy stick to make the thumb stick. One of my favourites and probably one of the most best ones to use when you're out walking or hiking. So yeah, let's get a bit there we go. Good there, isn't it? So yeah, all I'll do now is uh, sand it all down and then whack a coat of varnish on. Actually, I'll fit a brass ferrule on. So yeah, I'll sand it down and it'll be whittling the end for a brass ferrule. So yeah, I'll fit the uh, ferrule on the end. I would have rather had a, go on, fuck there we are. I'd rather had a better fitting one, but this was the biggest I could fit on, if you know what I mean. So yeah, nice. Give it the old tappy tap. And uh, started working on the uh, thumb stick area. So I did, yeah, cut them off, rounded them off, slowly started sanding it. I needed a bit of space to uh, fit a thumb, easy enough. It's a bit tight on that, need to do a little bit more, but yeah. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a crack. I don't know if it was a crack off, it was just like the natural. But yeah, it's not too bad, so I'm just fill that in with some resin. But yeah, it's a nice working thumb stick. Yeah, give it a final sand. And yeah. That's why thumbsticks are so easy to make, because 
you could at any point you could have stopped like now there you go done you can go out walking with it could have done it before you put feral on the end but yeah give it final sand and then a coat of varnish on it there we are Start putting the coat of varnish on just clear your varnish and go all the way I'll just using that as the marker point and I'll finish it off and then yeah I'll let it dry and then I'll put a wipe it down some white spritz and uh, give it another coat but yeah nice simple fun stick that's why you gotta gotta love fun sticks best beginners walking stick if you're gonna get into making walking sticks or just in general if you're going hiking or walking it's easy enough just see it and cut it and off you go but yeah thank you subscribers and uh, yeah i really do appreciate the support so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button then yeah nice simple hazel thumbstick <laughs>